Whoa, this is different than I've ever seen before. This is my latest wheel set, the Vortex No Compromise. I'm gonna tell you all about it in this video. Nice. What's up guys, what's up cycling fanatics? This is part of my new 2022 project. A wheel set, Vortex wheel set. You probably have not heard of Vortex before. So before I'm gonna start the unboxing, I wanna tell you a little bit, very quick, about Club 100. Club 100 is founded by a few very enthusiastic cyclists in China. And what they want to do is bring high quality Chinese products to the Western market. Now I know that I recently have done a video about a Chinese frame and I wasn't very happy with the quality and with the communication of that product. With Club 100, it's very different. Because the guys behind Club 100, they personally select the brands that they work with and they only allow the high quality brands to be represented on their website. The guys talk English, you can call them, you can email them, you can ask their questions. Nah. Hello, I'm Jasper. First is this Vortex wheel set. I haven't touched this box yet. So it's gonna be all honest. If it's packed in a not proper way or if I don't like it, then uh, I'll let you know. Okay, opening the box. It's padded with uh, extra foam, tubeless valves. And then if we look inside the box, you can see there's a, a piece of carton which prevents it from going up and back. And then there's extra foam on the sides of the wheels, which make it, you know, it cushions it out. So far, I would say very nice packaging. A wheel bag? I didn't even know it came with a wheel bag. Check this out, nice. Another wheel bag, this is awesome. And now the most important part, the wheels. Here we go. Again, it's packed in foam separately. So very nice packaging. Boom, whoa. Interesting. Nice. Rear wheel, front wheel, disc brake wheels. Let's go over the features of these wheels. Whoa, this is different than I've ever seen before. This wheel set is built, is developed, created by Mr. Huang. Mr. Wang was a uh, university student. In his time of en uh, civil engineering, he was able to use all their facilities in the process of designing and testing this product. They've been tested both com in computer-based models and in real life stress tests to uh, develop a very high end wheel set. There's three tiers. So it's the highest tier is the wheel set that I have right now, which is the no compromise wheel set, which is the highest one. Then there's the classic and the benchmark wheel set. Let's start with the spokes. These spokes are different like I've ever seen before, actually. They're carbon spokes and the carbon in these spokes goes from the beginning all the way to the end and back to the beginning. So it's one fiber of carbon and then of obviously a lot of them going all the way up and back, which creates a very strong spoke. According to Vortex, it's stronger than steel and uh, way lighter than steel. So yes, super light spokes and very aerodynamic. They're quite wide and the nipples are different than I've seen before at the side of the hub. There's a square ending which uh, locks into the hub, which prevents the spoke from turning. I actually have quite some other wheels with aerodynamic spokes, but because of the, the nipple is, is round, the spoke can turn freely, which changes both the uh, spoke tension and also the aerodynamics, obviously. These spokes make the base of these wheels. Another very interesting thing about these spokes and the wheels is that 
every spoke has the same length. This is created by having a big flange on the drive side and the bigger flange on the drive side also creates a bigger angle of the spokes, which make it very stiff in the transmission uh, of power. And also in the front wheel is the same system, but then on the side of the disc, which has actually a very high stiffness for braking. The rims of these no compromise wheel set are from T800 carbon, which is the highest uh, quality carbon used in the uh, cycling industry or in, in frame manufacturing or anything. The benchmark wheel set, they use T700 carbon and that's why they are a, a lot cheaper than these wheels. The rim is asymmetrical which also is favorable to the angle of the spokes. Then the holes in the in the wheels are in an angle so the hole in the nipple is actually lined up with the angle of the spokes this is very important if you don't do that there will be a high tension at the at the part where the nipple meets the rim and this is a part where the where the spokes can break easily so this is a disc version there's also a rim brake version which has a specific braking edge on the rim uh, i can't judge it right now because i don't have the rim brake version the rim itself is in reinforced at the nipple, so the, there's more carbon at the part where the nipple and the holes are, and there's less carbon in between, which uh, makes it strong where it needs to be. The bearings in this wheel set are ceramic bearings, specifically designed for a wheel, a cycling, a bicycle wheel. So they have specifications that match the rotation speed of a bicycle wheel and, and also the high loads that sometimes a bicycle wheel will face when you hit a pothole, for example. There's even a counterweight for the valve. So there's a tubeless valve that I still need to install, but there's a counterweight in the other side of the rim, which makes it perfectly stable. And that's one of the main features of this wheel set that it's built for dynamic balance and stability in the wheel set and the spoke length, the offset, uh, the high flange, the counterweight, all of these uh, things are uh, contributing to the stability of the wheels. So now without the valve, it's already very stable. If I do this with another wheel set, you'll see sometimes it tends to go like that. That's because it's not the same weight everywhere in the wheels, but these are, these feel very, very smooth. The hips, the hips are from carbon mixed with aluminum. So this makes it extra light, obviously. And then I just pulled off the cassette because I was very curious, but what's inside this wheel, what's inside this hub is something I've actually never seen before. If you pull off the cassette, there is a very special system you know how normally you have these little springs and, and uh, with engagement points? I don't know how to describe this one, but this is different than I've ever seen. There's like engagement points which are not vertical, but horizontal. Very interesting. And I'm very curious on how this is gonna feel out on the road. I've got the Shimano option. You can also get this in SRAM and Campagnolo. The new Shimano 12 speed group set will fit on this because the width is the same. And this is the disc brake 60 millimeter version with tubeless rims. Now that's another feature. There is no spoke holes in this rim. So you don't need tape, which is gonna save you weight. So this is directly ready for tubeless tire setup. Just install the valve put on the tire and it's, it will seal completely. That's very cool. I've, I, have, I have seen this before in other Chinese rims, but I've never seen it myself in real life. So the front wheel is uh, very similar to the back wheel. All the features of the rim, the spokes and the flange are the same. Like I said, the flange is on the other side, on the side of the disc. Obviously your front wheel is gonna bear most of the loading of braking. So to have a very stiff spoke and flange combina combination on the side of your disc is actually, I think, optimal because this way you, your wheel is gonna be transferring all that power directly to the brake, so that's nice. The combination of the carbon, 
the carbon hubs, the carbon spokes and everything creates a very, very light wheel set. The tubular rim brake version of the 40 millimeter Vortex wheel set, set comes at 1060 grams. This wheel set, specifically the 60 millimeter disc brake version of the tubeless wheels is, is 1420 grams. So that's super light for a very high quality wheel set. Now what am I gonna do with this wheel set? I will be testing these out. So there will be another video of the first ride and my review on these wheels after I've used them on the bike in real life. But I will also use these to build up a new bike. Um, one of the brands that Club 100 represents is Sika or Seika. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Uh, this is a Chinese frame building company and they uh, are gonna send me a frame. It's at the moment a bit difficult with the production line as almost everything in the cycling industry, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have it before 2022. And then I'm gonna build up a new bike. It's an aero bike. The frame looks absolutely amazing. It's a completely uh, new designed frame. So it's not a, a standard mold that they copied from a different brand. They have designed and produced from scratch, and I'm gonna be building a bike on that frame with these wheels. I think it's gonna look amazing. So guys, stay tuned for that first review, riding these wheels and also for the bike build video. In the meanwhile, make sure you click up, click up here to see some of my racing content and other cycling videos. Thanks for watching, gonna see you next time. See ya.